HDR highlight compression is found under the utility category, and you're gonna be needing to work in 32 bits per channel to really take advantage of this, and using an HDR source. So this is an HDRI environment map that I got from HDRI Haven that actually is an HDR image. So there's high dynamic range, meaning luminance data or brightness data that's translated to the actual pixels in this image. Because I'm working in 32 bits per channel, I can take advantage of that. So if I turn my exposure of my comp down, you can see as I make it dimmer, we get to see more and more of the sun because there's way more pixel data in this image than if it was just a standard 8-bit JPEG. And the HDR highlight compression effect, if I apply it, just does exactly what it sounds like. It compresses the highlights to bring those high dynamic range values into a range that fits a low dynamic range or non-high dynamic range image. So if I went to my project settings and set this to 8 bits per channel, that's not going to work because working at this bit depth is basically throwing away all that 32 bit depth information that we had within this image. So I still have to be in 32 bits per channel. But what it's doing is around the sun there, you can see very clearly is compressing that down so we can see much more of that image. And we have one slider, the amount. So I could back this off, dial it into exactly what I want but that's all it's doing. And we can really see what's happening if I go up to window and to my Lumetri Scopes panel, and I'm set to the waveform RGB view. This is going to show me all of the pixel intensities across my entire comp. So there's a lot of bright pixels with the effect turned off that are getting clipped off past the standard zero to 255 8-bit pixel depth that this is eventually going to be exported as. So all of that information above 255 is being lost. Turning HDR highlight compression back on brings all of those clipped values down in a very natural way and make sure that nothing is clipped above that 100% brightness value. As soon as I dial this back, we get that clipping showing up right there. So this is a very useful, easy, simple to use effect for making sure that you contain all of that HDR brightness within a standard bit depth view. And that's all there is to HDR highlight compression. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.